What's up, YouTube? What's up, good peoples? I'm here to talk about the Mandela effect again and some development since yesterday. Um, you know, I was tripping out last night. I wasn't tripping hard, but you know, you go down the rabbit hole to uh, you go down the rabbit hole too many times. You think you done heard it all and seen it all, but this Mandela effect is a trip. I had never uh, thought about the rapture aspect of it, and that kind of like threw me for a loop. But I woke up this morning, I'm good. <laughs> um, I know my brother this morning, he was saying that the news was like, this the hottest summer on record. But in my mind, it was like, it, it really wasn't that hot. It seemed like to me last year was much hard, hotter than this year. I don't know, to me, the summer was, was gravy, it was cool. I mean, not all the way cool. It was some hot days, but I, it was some days to me, it was like, it, feel, it feels great for it to be the summertime, you know? And I'm wondering if, if that might have anything to do with the Mandela effect, you know? I know I've changed my perspective, you know, I wanna get back more into nature. And I've been having that in my mind for like the past year or two. And I'm wondering if that is can be like the cause of this little Mandela effect in my life and the difference in other people's life. I don't know. Trippy shit. Um, I really, my next point is I want to urge everybody who's into the Mandela effect <clears throat> to check out Cynthia Sue Larson. She has a YouTube channel. She's a writer. She uh, got a PhD in in uh, physics, and she's in the quantum, what is it, quantum physics or whatever. But uh, she puts a, a positive spin on the Mandela effect, and I think everybody needs to watch that because, like, out of all the videos I've seen, I think half of them are like doom and gloom, and the Illuminati is in control, and she puts a very positive spin on it. Um, she also says like the Mandela effect has been happening long before CERN has been here. So that CERN aspect of it probably has nothing to do with it. And one good thing she says about it, and you'll see it if you watch the video, she says, how good can it get? Because a lot of changes are going to be positive and they are positive, have been positive. So yeah, man, y'all check that lady out, man. She kind of, she'll put a, put some goodness in your soul. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, this morning, <laughs> I was looking at, uh, I got, I got, uh, drawn into this, this, e the ESPN channel on TV, and they're having a discussion about race. Why they're having a discussion about race is beyond me. I guess I'm glad, I'm glad somebody's talking about it, but, uh, I don't know, it kind of tripped me out, because for the past week, I've been seeing loads of Mandela Effect videos. It's a wave going around the world about, at least in the U.S., in the Western world, about the uh, Mandela effect. And uh, somebody said that mainstream media isn't covering it. And I'm wondering if this ESPN is a effect of that because, you know, the mainstream want to draw our attention into something. And they know we who want the Mandela effect are not going to be listening to nothing they say so i'm thinking they got trying to draw people in especially black people with the uh this racism talk and they got it on espn i don't know just just a little something that popped in my head a little theory of mine and i want to talk about the uh i ain't got no good lighting on here let me stay in the shadow but um i want to talk about the timeline of uh, the flat earth, the no forest on flat earth, and Mandela. Because it's, it's, it's so many people talking about this stuff right now, especially on YouTube. Like, I think I heard about the flat earth first, and that was like a year ago. And I was like, 
why are we talking about this? Like, when did this become so popular? It's just like, all of a sudden, one day, it was like thousands of YouTube videos everywhere talking about the flat earth. Me, I don't give a fuck what shape the earth is in. I just want us to bring paradise back to the earth. But it just tripped me out. It's just like it came out of nowhere. And then, uh, like a month ago, the, the uh, no forest on earth, you know, talking about how the earth has been strip mined. And the, the giant trees that used to be here, uh, that kind of came up out of nowhere like a month ago. And there's thousands of YouTube uh, videos about that. And then the Mandela effect, like I had heard of that probably like, I don't know, four to six months ago, maybe a year. I probably heard of it, but didn't pay no attention to it. You know, it's far out there. But um, it slowly trickled its way into my into my life until I heard about the Berenstein Bears thing. I was like, that kind of tripped me out. Um, and then in the past week, ever since I've been watching uh, New Arrivals YouTube channel, uh, it kind of like crystallized it in my life. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck is really going on? I don't know, I just wanted to talk about that little, how these things have been brought, bubbled up into our existence and how they caught fire on YouTube. But I really want to urge everybody to check out uh, Cynthia Sue Larson. I'm going to leave a link in the uh, in my description box. And uh, in her words, let us, let us think about how good can it get? Yeah. A lot of these this, this new consciousness theory theories, they're telling us we have we have much more power than what we've been told. So how how good can it get? Peace.